Oh, hi. <laughs> My name is Mar Mariah, and I'm here to talk to you about um, softening fans. Um, in the K-pop world, they are extreme fans that stalk, um, break into the house of an artist, you know, like Super Junior, TVXQ, um, you know, you name it, but those are the top two that you hear about a lot, but anyway, so these crazy fans just think that they are the stuff because they think they really know these people because they do illegal things to get to know these people. Not actually, you know, actually sit down and talk to these people like normal human beings. No, they want to do it like there's some creepy inv investigator, like the celebrities out there are criminals. So, I mean, really? Like, that's not normal. But I guess in Korea it's normal because it's gone on for years. Why? That doesn't make sense. But they seem to not want to do anything about it because they think it's a little fake. Oh, it's something to grow out of. Well, some do, but some don't. Some are crazy. Some are not. Some suffer from, you know, mental abuse or they're bullied. And they think by doing these things to an artist, that's love. If you don't feel love when somebody does that to you in school or at work, then it's not love. You know? But they do it anyway. And a lot of us are stressed out and tired of hearing it. Um, we get tired of going on Twitter and seeing our favorite artists complain about these fans and hear them say, oh, they hacked my account, they tapped my phone, they're standing outside my house. I'm trying to sleep. And all I hear is screaming like, yay! And it's like, wow, go to bed. Like, go away, go home. I remember one time, I was on Twitter, and um, Yu Chun from JYJ had tweeted that he was supposed to be doing something like a schedule or some sort, and it was a while ago. And he needed to go leave. And Softman fans surrounded the building. Like, they were there. And he's tweeting, and all of us as a group are like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, call the cops. Call the cops so they can clear it out and so you can go to work. Because that's where he was trying to go, go to work. I think he was doing, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a drama of some sort. Okay. Well, anyway. And I'll never forget that because it was like, I have never heard of anything like in, that in my life. Like, I heard stories about softening fans, but I didn't really know who they were, like what they do. But when I found out, I was like, no wonder they're scared. No wonder celebrities are scared because they see these fans, so-called fans, because I don't call them fans. They're really not fans. They're crazy, and they need help. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So the point is of this video is that we have a group, and in this group, 
Um, we're making a list. Checking it twice. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> but um, we're making a list of faceting activities. We even found, you know, what do you call them? A, a fan, softening fan account that um, have people that stalk certain celebrities, but some of this, the stuff was in Chinese, and because some of us can't speak Chinese, we were like looking for people that can translate. Well, and there was one woman on there who's supposed to be a, a what do you call it, a reporter? And she gives info about XOM and other people that fans can stop, stop in China. And I was like, wow, lady, really? You're really willing to put your job on the law line just so you can feel, I don't know, popular? Or what, like, or, or are you a softening fan that happened to graduate, go to college, and become, become a, a reporter, and you think you're safe? Well, we found you. Whatever. And you will be dealt with, um, along with any softening fan we find. Um, also, um, it's like, we're tired of this. So, in this group, other than research and making lists of activities, we even research certain disorders that the softening fans may have, and we even written out ideas of what the Korean government can do about softening fans, because to me, do you know, because of the how the how you a or whatever that people around the world see you, and when they found about find out about softening fans, they get nervous, like because we know our fans can be crazy in the U.S. and other places, but we don't do that. But we've heard some horrible things from the point that these softening fans were prostitutes themselves out to softening taxis or people to make money so they can buy cameras and stuff or pay for the taxi and stock some more. Um, there was even one, uh, what do you call it, article, and it had something about softening would charge if you get um, somebody so and so's underwear will give you like a hundred thousand dollars or something something like that. I was like, what? Somebody wants some underwear? Like, ew, what are you gonna do? Snip it? Like, <laughs> I'm being serious. Like, this is creepy. Anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, so other than that, um, these girls also been known to send blood letters, um, send period blood in these little cases or their pads and put it on a doorstep. Like nobody wants to know you're on your period. You feel dirty when you're on your period. You smell. Like, nobody wants that. That's gross. And men don't like it either. You know, if they do, something's wrong. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the point is that we want the Korean government to listen to us. Because if we see it as bad, then the whole world will start to see it. And you're trying to make it in the world and see the world and show off great singers and that's good but on top of that they can see the bad and the bad is
fan stalking, hurting the celebrity, celebrities, and just doing horrible things. And it, it's gotten to the extreme that it's it spread. It's not in Korea anymore. It's in China. I heard it is in Japan, Peru. Um, how many more countries are out there? How many more softening fans are there? The more countries the celebrities go to, the more softening fans grow. They'll travel too. They'll make a lot of money. <laughs> you know, if they ain't rich, they'll do whatever it takes the money to make money if all these celebrities all over all over like it's like wow I mean there was even one incident with uh, what's his name key from shiny he's in church now what are you doing as a fan or softening fan whatever taking picture of somebody else in church why why do you have a camera in church? You need to be looking down at that Bible, reading about God, and trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with you and fix it. Because that don't make sense at all. Like, come on now. But let me just wrap wrap this up because I'm going to go on this rant for hours and hours, and I'm getting tired. I'm going to sleep. Um, the point is that as this group that are against sausaging sauce fans, we're not going to go away. And the more information we get, we're going to present it. And something needs to be done because I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing bad things about what happens to celebrities celebrities over in South Korea. They're human. They're not gods. They're not lords. They're not kings. They're human. They're here to entertain us, to put food on their table, pay their bills, and to take care of their family. They're not here for you to worship. That's what God is for. for. Yeah. Especially for those softening that sit in church taking pictures, read God's word. Anyway, but other than that, I'm gonna post links at the end of this video, and hopefully more people will join. Um, we need more people for research. We need people that can speak Chinese, <laughs> like seriously to track some of these softening fans overseas and we're going to do what we got to do because it seems like the police won't do anything it's a slap on the wrist like and let them go it's like and we're thinking of ideas try to fix it like we're the cop we shouldn't do your job but we're going to do it and you're going to have to deal with it <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'll post these links. Um, click, join the group, talk, chat with us, um, and you know we'll think of ideas. We'll present them any way we can. Pass this video around or whatever, and also make your own videos. If you make your own. And it spreads, then the whole world will start to see what's going, what's going on. And that'd be great. Like we want the world to know that this needs to stop, and it will stop. And I'm going to bed anyway. But love y'all. Hope you watch the video. Pass around. Please make your own. Like over on YouTube with sausaging videos about how you don't like them and how you want to make them stop 
and and don't be mean and no cussing but love you guys